Welcome to the module on linear probing. In this module, first we'll learn the first technique of collision resolution, which is linear probing. So the idea behind linear probing is if we have a collision, if we if two elements point to the same block in the array, then what we do is we go to the next element, right next element of the array, and we see if that is empty. If that is empty, then we keep our new element there. If that is also not empty, then we go to next element. So we are moving indices by one by one. That's why it is called linear probing. So I'll show you the example. So this is a current. This is current hash table. This is current hash table. In this, I have two elements, 22 and 25. Suppose I want to add new element, 44. Now, first of all, here I am using a hash function, which. Uh, Which which is just taking modulus by eleven, and now if I take forty four and if I take modulus eleven, then it will be zero. Now if I see uh, key zero element in my array in my hash table, then it already has one element twenty two. So I cannot add it there. So what I do is in linear probing, what we do is we go to we go to next element so if i was my initial position then i i will go to i plus 1 which is 1 so in this case 1 is empty so i can place my new element 44 here now suppose suppose i want to add one more element 66 66 will again point to key 0 so i will check key 0 22 it's already filled so we can't go there so in linear probing i will move one to the right And then I will check oh, key one place. It already has forty four, so I'll go to one right. So I will keep on doing this till I have an empty block. So finally, when I found empty block at key equal to two, I will place my sixty six there. So this is the idea behind linear probing. Thank you.